welcome to Lake to Lake, a show about our beautiful city of Bellevue. I'm your host, Robin Steele. As summer's gearing up, we're excited to come to you from Maidenbower Bay Park, a perfect place to enjoy summer. Later in the show, we'll show you how you can rent a kayak, canoe, or even a stand-up paddleboard here to explore the waters of scenic Lake Washington. We'll also highlight the return of the Bellevue Farmers Market. But first, we wanna share with you an inside look at some of the important work the city of Bellevue is doing to change lives and to address one of the city council's highest priority issues, finding solutions to homelessness and facilitating housing stability in our city. Stephanie Martinez is the city's homelessness outreach coordinator, and next she shares some of the ways our community is working together to accomplish this important work. As of 2020, in the 2020 report, there were 1,032 folks that were experiencing homelessness across the east side. We don't have a specific count for Bellevue right now. We do know though that, that there are 375 homeless youth within our Bellevue School District as well that have been experiencing homelessness. The city's efforts to address homelessness is really a balanced approach um, of compassionate accountability is what we like to say and also in terms of between enforcement and also outreach and making sure that folks are engaged in services um, and then are moving into housing but at the same time making sure that the city is also meeting their codes. So we've really seen council be invested in addressing and preventing homelessness even within the past year. Council has led and approved very specific projects that prevent homelessness such as figuring out how do we increase our housing affordability throughout Bellevue and our deeper housing affordability. I work heavily and collaborate with the Sophia Way, Catholic Community Services, Congregations for the Homeless, those folks that provide shelter services but also work with specific populations in our subregion. So the Sophia Way works with our single women, CCS, Catholic Community Services, works with our families, and then Congregations for the Homeless works with our single men. And it really does take a village to help somebody move inside and even private businesses in the community that really are invested in supporting our folks that are experiencing homelessness. Um, some unique examples that I like to offer a little bit more on is we have several vehicle residencies in Bellevue and one of our private businesses, Crossroads Towing, has been amazing at getting folks, um, at, at helping me tow their vehicles to a mechanic for free. Nobody would ever figure a towing company would be <laughs> one of our greatest partners. So we have been able to help several different individuals transition and move into either transitional housing or permanent housing, and one of those folks being Clark. Going from sleeping in the park for three months and then being here is a, uh, is a major accomplishment. I was doing just fine, and then all of a sudden, bam, crashed. A year ago, when I became all the way homeless to the point where I didn't have anywhere to go because of the COVID-19 epidemic, and it changes a person physically, but it also changes a person mentally. I woke up one morning at the park, and I was like, I'm tired. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm tired, I'm tired of being here. I'm, I'm so tired, I said, I gotta do something. Fortunately, we have several different departments that again, interface with uh, folks that are experiencing homelessness. Our Bellevue Police Department and our Fire Department, specifically our Fire Cares Unit, also work really hard to support folks that are experiencing homelessness when they're in crisis. I met Stephanie through a police officer, a Bellevue police officer named Joe. And he was at the park talking to this guy and trying to tell him about his social behavior and what he needed to do and things. And the guy said, I need a place to live. I got mental issues, I got drug problems, yada, yada, yada. So when he finished with him, I followed Joe to, the, to, to his car. I said, come here, man, let me talk to you. I said, everything you told him, give me the phone number. I'm going to use it. I need everything you just said. I'm going to use it. I said, I'll, I'll I said, I'll stand over here, put it on your car, I'll come get it. I said, he said, no, he said, I'm gonna call her and tell her to call you. I said, okay. She called, Stephanie called me in 15 minutes. We were able to meet at a 
Park our first session uh, for about a few hours and talk through all his barriers and from then on it's been a sort of uh, puzzle figuring out what his plan looks like and we have successfully housed him. I feel truly, truly blessed and happy that the city of Bellevue got me from the park through all of the city workers at about four agencies and now I'm sitting here talking to you. It feels good knowing that Clark is inside along with his roommate that has been experiencing homelessness because again, I don't believe that folks really feel sometimes that they are able to climb out of experiencing homelessness and living outside. And sometimes every day meeting with individuals, you can feel and sense the need um, to support an individual and help them navigate the systems. It's all started with her. It started with the police officer and her, and then from her to agencies, and then five and a half months later, we are here. I'm, I'm happy and I'm blessed to have my own place. One of the best parts of summer in Bellevue is the return of the Bellevue Farmers Market. We stopped by to discover some of the freshest produce around and much, much more. I love this market. I wanted to participate because it's just so community oriented. You're right here in the middle of Bellevue. I see families coming. I love the vendors here. I come and I purchase the fruit I'm gonna bake with. So I got strawberries last week. I just am gonna get cherries. So it is just the perfect place for me. So this is our 18th season of the Bellevue Farmer's Market and I'm super excited about this year. You know, last year we had to be really nimble and adjust some of our processes because of COVID. And this year you can just feel the energy. It's coming back. We're welcoming uh, more food trucks back. Soon, I think we're gonna have some dining on site and we're just excited. The community's coming back. People want this event. We're here to bring our neighbors in Bellevue great quality food that's good for the environment. We don't always have access to go out to the farms. So we bring that experience here. You can talk to the farmers. You can learn how your food is grown. You can get higher quality, better tasting food. People connect with the produce because they see things that they never see at the grocery store and also things that are, you know, like just harvested, you know, yesterday and it'll be on their table tonight and I think that's pretty special. People get to ask questions about what we grow, what varieties, what do they taste like, how do we prepare them and that's not the kind of experience that you get at the grocery store. I specialize in seasonal flavors, so this week I'm featuring um, some baked goods with fresh strawberries from um, our family farm out of Skagit Valley that's here at the market. I really strive to source local, so the flour, the eggs, the butter, the dairy, the fruit, as much as I can, I source all of that from small Washington farms, and if I can't, then I use organics. So we're in a greenhouse almost a full acre of uh, indoor greenhouses. That's how we're able to have, you know, tomatoes far before tomato season. We just have a ton of variety, and if you want to talk about tomatoes, you can't go to the grocery store and get like a tomato expert that's eaten all of these, you know? And sometimes Rich, the grower, and Mary, like they were here last week, so you can actually meet the grower. This is my third season with the Bellevue Farmers Market, and I have great feedback from our customers, and they know that they can trust us to provide a good experience. We're all relatively new to the area, so we thought it'd be a nice bike ride to come here and check out the farmer's market and see, see what's here, see what food there is, see what's fresh. Yeah. The strawberries down there were picked this morning. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Pretty cool. And we all bought popsicles. Oh yeah, okay. popsicles are delicious. The Bellevue Farmers Market runs Thursdays, 3 to 7 p.m. at Bellevue Presbyterian Church. We begin May, this year is May 13th, and we're running until October 7th. Then we do Saturday markets monthly on the third Saturday of October, November, and December. More information about that at BellevueFarmersMarket.org. 
As I mentioned at the top of the show, we're coming to you from Maidenbower Bay Park. It's a spectacular park with a great beach, a pier, and a fun playground for the kids. On a beautiful day like today, it's also a great place to rent a kayak or paddleboard or canoe to explore our beautiful city by water. After being closed last year due to COVID-19, we're excited to welcome the return of the REI Boathouse. Next, we show you how easy and fun it is to rent a boat here and be out on the water in minutes. Right now you can rent stand-up paddle boards, canoes, single kayaks, or tandem kayaks. And we kind of have something for everybody. If you're not experienced at all, we definitely have something for you. Our tandem perception tribes are definitely very popular for the tandem kayak. We've made it super easy this year. Um, you can pre-book online by just going to REI.com and going to the experiences for the Bellevue Boathouses, either here at Maidenbow or down at Inatai Beach. You can just either pre-book and pick kind of what rental you're wanting by the hour, or you can show up and hopefully we have what you're looking for. Um, we do recommend pre-books because we are getting kind of busy. Our hours are Thursday through Sunday and they will be 10 to 8 p.m. It is so much fun to kayak in these waters. And on our next episode of Lake to Lake, we'll take you on a guided kayak tour of the waters and wildlife of the Mercer Slough Nature Park. In the meantime, if you have feedback or questions for us, please email us anytime at btv at bellevuewa.gov. Also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with our latest video news and information. I'm Robin Steele from all of us at the City of Bellevue and Bellevue Television. We hope that you have a great start to your summer.